Kumusta po kayong lahat? How are you there? Hello to all our kababayans out there. Welcome to a space where we talk about real life challenges, financial hardness, and solutions that keep close to home. You're tuning into If a 3.3 radio station where we unveil the complexities of managing your finances in the Philippines. I'm your companion in this journey. This is John Lady Goma Ishang, and I'm here to walk with you through the financial ups and downs which many of us face. We understand that managing your finances can be a daily struggle, especially when it comes to home related financial problems. FA 3.3 Radio Station. We aim to be your support system. We discuss issues like home loans, mortgage payments, budgeting, and more. Yeah! We'll bring in experts and share real stories to help you navigate the challenges that Filipino families often encounter. It's not just about talking, it's about connecting. We want to hear your experiences, your questions, and your insights. Join to the conversation by calling us at 0975-659-4486 or connecting with us on social media at FB 3.3 Radio Station. Your voice matters. Do you find your electricity bill buffling? Joining us today is Mr. Dave Banog Banog, an expert in energy conservation. Mr. Banog Banog, Can you help our listeners understand their electricity bills better? Certainly. Thank you for having me. Understanding your electricity bill can be like deciphering a code. But it's a crucial skill for homeowners and businesses alike. Let's break it down into a few key components. Firstly, you'll notice the consumption section. This details the amount of electricity you've used during a specific billing period, usually measured in kilowatt hours. It's essential to keep an eye on this to track your usage patterns over time. Next, we have the rate structure. Electricity rates can vary based on your location, time of the day, and sometimes even the season. Understanding your rate structure helps you identify opportunities for savings. Fascinating! I'm sure many viewers are curious about ways to reduce their electricity bills. Are there any tips you can share? Absolutely! One effective strategy is to optimize your energy usage during off-peak hours. Many utility providers offer lower rates during specific times, encouraging users to shift their energy-intensive tasks to those periods. Additionally, Investing in energy-efficient appliances and making simple lifestyle adjustments, like turning off lights when not in use, can have a significant impact. Great advice! Now, let's talk about those mysterious additional charges that sometimes appear on bills. What should viewers be aware of in that regard? Ah, yes. Additional charges can include taxes, fees, and sometimes even demand charges for businesses. It's crucial to review these carefully and if needed, discuss them with your utility provider. Being informed about these charges ensures that you're not caught off guard when you see fluctuations in your bill. Fantastic insights, Mr. Banog Banog. Before we wrap up, Do you have any final thoughts or recommendations for our viewers? Absolutely. Stay informed, be proactive in managing your energy consumption, and explore options for renewable energy sources if they align with your values. Remember, understanding your electricity bill is a key step towards making informed decisions for a more sustainable and cost-effective energy future. Thank you, Mr. Banog Banog. For those valuable insights, as we wrap up today's show, remember that reducing electricity consumption isn't just good for your wallet but also for our planet by making conscious choices and adapting energy efficient practices. We can all shine a light on a more sustainable future. Your gateway to convenience 
enjoy swift and reliable service bring your favorite meals right to your doorstep say goodbye to hunger and hello hassle-free dining with maxim yeah! with maxim your safety destination is our priority please stay tuned our dear listeners because today we have another special guest an expert who is going to shed light on something we all can relate to how renewable energy intersects with our electricity consumption at home please join me in extending a warm welcome to mr phil james agua viva Thank you, Sir Isheng. It's a pleasure to be here talking about a subject that's not just irrelevant but intimately connected to our daily lives. Absolutely. Now, before we dive into the intricacies, Mr. Agoviva, could you share a bit about your background and what drew you to the fascinating world of renewable energy, especially in the context of homes? Certainly. Mr. Isheng, my journey into renewable energy was a fueled by a desire to empower individuals to make sustainable choices at home. It's about demystifying the process and making renewable energy a tangible and practical part of our everyday lives. Incredible! Now, for our listeners tuning in from their cozy homes, could you give us a sneak peek into how renewable energy intertwines with our electricity consumption within the household? Absolutely. <laughs> our homes are like many energy ecosystems, and when we choose renewable sources like solar or wind to power them, we're not just reducing our carbon footprints, we're actively shaping a cleaner, more of a sustainable environment for our families. It's about making our homes not just comfortable but environmentally conscious. Beautifully articulated. And for those eager to embark on the journey of integrating renewable energy into their homes, what practical advice do you have for them? Great question. Whether it's installing solar panels, exploring energy efficient appliances, or simply being mindful of our energy use, every action of at home matters. It's about taking those small steps that collectively lead to a more sustainable and eco friendlier lifestyle. Wonderful advice. Now, let's zoom in a bit. How can this shift to renewable energy impact not just that individual household, but the broader community and neighborhood we call home? It's a ripple effect. When homes in a community embrace renewable energy, it not only reduces the overall environmental impact, but sets the stages for a more resilient and connected local energy grid. It's about creating sustainable communities that thrive together. Exciting possibilities! Before we wrap up, Mr. Aguaviva, any words of encouragement or tips for our listeners as they consider making their homes more energy efficient and sustainable? Absolutely! Start small, be curious, and embrace the journey towards a greener home. Whether it's choosing LED bulbs, considering rooftop solar, or participating in community energy initiatives, each step contributes to a brighter and more sustainable future for everyone. Mr. Aguaviva, your insights have truly been a beacon of knowledge. The advice you've provided is not just practical, but also inspiring. I know our listeners have gained a wealth of information that they can apply to their lives. Thank you for being here and sharing your expertise. And there you have it, dear listeners. Another chapter of insightful conversations and meaningful connections come to a close here on FE 3.3 Radio Station. I'm your host, John Lloyd Digomai Shang, or in short, John Lloyd. And what a journey it's been today. <laughs>